Hello Aquarius, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess about to do your reading for December. I just wanted to have a check. The light in this room is a lot different to the light in the other room. So the cards have been quite shiny. So I'm going to use these cards because they don't seem quite so bad. Um, just having a quick rough through and we'll go from there. Okay, so you're reading for December. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for subscribing to my channel. We continue to grow daily. Our community keeps getting bigger and bigger, and I'm so grateful for the journey. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, I'd love to have you on board. And if my readings don't resonate, that's cool too. Either way, you stay or you go. Um, I do always recommend, though, that you check out other aspects of your natal chart. So... You can do that as well. Okay. Aquarius for December. Very nice. So you have here the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands can be a couple of things. It can talk about communication over the internet. And it can also talk about arrows of love because we look at the ones as being a passionate message. So it does look like December for you will be a month of communicating. Uh, messages going backwards and forwards, especially if you've been waiting on messages to come through, whether they be related to love or work or something else that you're passionate about. OK, so the first card you have out here is the card of Temperance. Now, the Temperance card talks of balance. She's the person that um, we all know talks about divine timing um, because she's got, when she shows up, it means everything in your life is in order. So therefore, you can move ahead then with divine timing. So it's like having all your ducks in a row, that type of energy. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Rods. This is a nice reading for you, Aquarius. Um, so the Ace of Wands or Rods it talks about a brand new passionate start. I feel like you might be right in the right place to start something new and start getting messages in from someone. You might be meeting someone in the month of December. So let's go a little bit further and see what we come up with. Ah, then we have the Star. Now, the star is your card. It is the card of Aquarius. Um, it talks about having faith and hope. Um, it talks about love, wishes coming through, being on the correct path. This is a beautiful reading for you for December. And then the page of rods is here. So you're definitely getting some big message, some big call out to you in the month of December. Something is happening, some sort of notification. When I look at the cards as you've got them here, what we have is a lot of divine timing here, a lot of divine timing. The universe conspiring to bring you something in in the month of December, and it's definitely something that's a new start. So let's peel off a little bit more. Okay, then we have the strength card. You have a lot of major arcanas here as well, which always talks about divine timing. So the strength card tells me that you've been working very hard on yourself and you may sort of, you know, be in a position now where you've sort of tamed the things that have perhaps made your life, um, you know, less than perfect. But whatever it is, you definitely have got things in order here. This is about taming the beast inside, you know, understanding, you know, how to... Um, how to understand yourself, making sense of your world. Beautiful. You could be dealing with a Leo too. And then we have a page of swords here. So you've definitely got some communication, lots of communication going backwards and forwards in the month of December and the end of a cycle. Okay, so I just want to do a bit of a recap here so you know where we're at before I put the rest of the cards out. Now, for you in the month of December, you're finishing out a cycle and starting something new. What I want to say to you, you've got a lot of communication here. I feel like if you've been working on yourself, you've got yourself to a point where the universe will start bringing things in. So you must have adjusted your vibration. You're at a point where you're ready to accept new things. And that's really lovely. But there's some sort of finalizing of something here um, before you can move forward. 
For some of you, this is about, you know, having a world trip, planning a holiday, um, you know, going away somewhere. Um, you've got to be careful here because there's sort of a feeling that you might fight this end here. Um, I don't know what the end is for you. It's not real clear to me at this point, but sometimes we become very resistant when things want to end in our lives. And I feel like you're trying to resist this ending. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So this is the end of negative thinking for you, Aquarius. So this card always talks about betrayal. Um, it talks about things coming to an end naturally. So this is the end of the sword suit. Now, what I can tell you here is there's some sort of ending that's got to happen in your life for you to start anew. And I can see a butterfly sort of coming out of a cocoon here. It's like you're being released from something to start something new. Um, this could be in any area of your life. It's not particularly looking like a love reading, um, but definitely something that you have been doing in the past, some sort of cycle you've been in, is about to come to the end. But what you have to be careful, yeah, look at this, you have the High Priestess coming out here too. That means you have a total of like four or five major arcanas here. Um, you could be, because you've got this strength card here, it could be the end of ego for you. You could have worked out how to sort of work with this ego energy and get rid of that because with these cards up here, it talks of divine timing, brand new starts. Um, and look at this Ace of Pentacles at the end. So what you're in fact doing in the month of December, you're peeling back your ego to allow yourself to stand in your true light here. This can be in anywhere in your life, but this is mostly about your own self-development here. Beautiful reading because it says to me that you're bringing in abundance and stability down here. Um, you're able to sort of let things go. You, your intuition's really on point here. So often when I see the high priestess and the um, temperance, the star and... I wonder what that noise was. I must have some, it must be windy. Um, often when I see these cards together, for me, it looks like the universe is giving you an opportunity to move out of a time in your life where perhaps things haven't been going so well for you. Um, because this is like the opening up of more, of great things, abundance. You have the high priestess here, which talks about, um, you know, your intuition being very strong here. Um, because of this ending so it's like you've been somehow um, dampening these incredible abilities that you have because you haven't trusted where you've been led now I think that this is something that will come to you through a message or somebody communicating something to you um, it doesn't look like a terrible thing um, it doesn't look like it's going to be something ghastly. It might be that somebody just says something to you that makes you realize how far you've come in your journey um, and you're able to sort of acknowledge that and move forward. There's a lot of Leo in these cards here too. So it could be that you are dealing with someone who's a Leo who's going to deliver a message to you um, that's going to wake you out of your sleep. Um, but you're definitely shedding those things that you have, that negative thinking, the cycles you've been doing are all going to be shared to open up this new pathway to for you. And that's going to bring in, you know, wishes. It's just amazing. And you've got this Ace of Pentacles here, which says to me, there's a newfound stability in your life, something that you didn't know before or something that you've lost. Um, because now you move forward with this whole new energy here, which is really lovely. So I'll just put a an oracle card on here. Oh, straight away. Oh, how very nice. You have the star in your reading and then you get the star here. So it's beautiful. It says hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and prosperity. My goodness, I want to cry. That is just a beautiful reading. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. What a beautiful reading, Aquarius. 
Have a fantastic December.